Good day, my dear students. Today, we're going to do a physical fitness test. This test will give you an information about the status of your overall physical fitness. Are you ready? Before we proceed with physical fitness test, I want you to get your pulse rate before doing the activity. First, you have to locate your pulse beat from your wrist. Place the index finger and middle fingers at the base of the thumb and slide on about 2 cm in the groove in the wrist. Then you have to press it lightly. And if you want to check your resting pulse rate over your carotid artery, you have to place your index finger and also your middle fingers on your neck to the side of your windpipe. When you feel your pulse, look at your watch and count the numbers of the beat in one minute. Record your pulse rate on the upper part of your score sheet. Now let's do it! Before anything else, I want you to perform the physical fitness test under health-related fitness and skill-related fitness. Record all the results and put it on your score sheet. Sit-ups or curl-ups. Assume a lying position with feet flat on the floor. You have to bend your knees at about 90 degrees and palms down. Count the number of sit-ups or curl-ups in one minute. Modified push-ups. In starting position, you have to lie down on the mat. You have to face down in standard push-up positions and your palms is facing downward. This is what we call the modified push-ups for the girls. So you have to bend your knees in contact with the floor, you have to straight your arms and you have to keep your back straight. And then you have to lower the arms until there is a 90 degree angle at the elbows. When it comes to the boys, you have to remain on the original push-ups. You have to get down on all fours, then you have to place your hands slightly wider than your shoulders. Straight your arms and your legs, and of course, you have to lower your body until your chest nearly touches the floor. This time, you have to pause, then push yourself back up. Now, you have to record the numbers of push-ups in one minute. Hexagon Agility Test The person to be tested starts with the both feet together in the middle of the hexagon facing the front line. On the command go, you have to jump ahead across the line, then back over the same line into the middle of the hexagon. Then, continuing to face forward with feet together, then you have to jump over the next side and back into the hexagon. Continue this pattern for 3 revolutions and perform the test both clockwise and counterclockwise. Three minute step test. Step on and off the stairs for three minutes. Step up with one foot and then the other. So you have to step down with one foot followed by the other foot. Try to maintain a steady four beat cycle and it's easy to maintain if you say up, up, down, down. Go at a steady and consistent pace. And count the number of steps in three minutes. Start stand. Remove the shoes and place the hands on the hips. Then position the non-supporting foot against the inside knee of the supporting leg. The subject is given one minute to practice the balance. Then the subject raises the heel to balance on the ball of the foot. The stopwatch is started as the heel is raised from the floor. The stopwatch is stopped if any of the following occurs. 1. If the hand comes off the hips. 2. The supporting foot swivels or moves in any direction. 3. The non-supporting foot loses contact with the knee. And lastly, the heel of the supporting foot touches the floor. Stick drop test. The ruler is held by the assistant between the outstretched index finger and thumb of the student's dominant hand 
so that the top of the student's thumb is level with the 0 cm line on the ruler. The assistant instructs the students to catch the ruler as soon as possible after it has been released. The assistant releases the ruler and the student catches the ruler between their index finger and thumb as quickly as possible. The assistant is to record the distance between the bottom of the ruler and the top of the student's thumb where the ruler has been caught. The test is repeated two more times and the average value used in the assessment. And that's how you do your physical fitness test. Thank you for watching!